Uh, my name is Jazz. I use he, they pronouns, and I am a Master's of Forensic Psychology student at the University of North Dakota. As a trans person myself, I know what it feels like to see um, all the negative things on social media or in the news, um, especially attacking our queer community. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys today about some things that I like to do to get out of that headspace of negativity and focus on yourself when it comes to these negative things. Um, the first thing that I would like to talk about is uh, chosen family. So growing up in a small town, uh, I know what it's like to not have very supportive family or friends. Um, I actually didn't discover myself and who I am fully until I came to college and was able to get out of that mindset of not being able to be myself. Um, so I was able to find some people up here that did support me. And that really is what Chosen Family is. Um, we don't have to go by our blood. We don't have to stick to the people that we knew growing up. You get to choose who you want in your life and you get to choose how you live your life. Um, so just try and find those people that no matter what, they're gonna support you. I promise you they're out there. I found so many people that I didn't, in places that I didn't even think that I would. Um, and it's, it's very important to notice that there are people that will love you no matter what, and those are the people that you should gravitate towards. The next thing I want to talk about is finding queer joy in literature and movies and TV shows and, and anything that can distract you from everyday life. Um, I recently got into RuPaul's Drag Race, and that has gotten me through these tough times um, just in and of itself, right? Just being able to take yourself out of that mind space of the news and, and negative TikToks and things like that because um, you get to control what you're watching in that moment and seeing in that moment and feeling in that moment. Um, so it can be queer related, it can be non-queer related, whatever you find joy in that you need to you know, take your mind off of everyday life, that's what you should be enjoying. Um, another thing is, is finding literature that speaks to you. So uh, for example, I found a book called Sorted by Jackson Bird before I um, before I found out who I was and before I before I um, discovered that I am a transgender person um, and he's a transgender man and the way that he talked about his life and the way he grew up matched mine so much that it was able to kind of snap me out of my small town mindset and say like. I'm, I feel this, this is, this is where I should be, and it really gave me courage to open up and discover myself more. So there are books, media out there that will help you through your personal journey of where you are at with your queerness and your identity and whatever you want to be. So if you can find those, just, just look for them and, and they'll be there. Um, thank you.